Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Artist Unknown. I just wanted to say before the video got started, um, thank you so much for 500 subscribers. It's crazy. We just started this two months ago and, uh, you know, we just, uh, I just never thought the growth would happen this fast and it means a lot. And, uh, I just wanted to take the time before we get into this video to say that, and so yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. So guys, as you can probably tell from the title and description of this video, I'm going to be working in the art room today, uh, painting a light switch. Um, so, and I'm also going to include a short one minute video at the end. It's going to be a combination of my shorts that I've had going around uh, recently, of the joiner Lucas I've just finished. So yeah, if you want to stay to the end and watch that, I would appreciate it. Let's quit talking and let's get right into it. Guys, I'm back. I had to go grab the screwdriver, you know, because, you know, first things first, we got to take this off. So let's go ahead and get that done. So, all right, guys, as you can see, we've got the light switch off here. And we've got some, you know, basic wall paint. Some matte paint. Because, you know, this is glossy surface. I'm going to be using these opaque, water-based acrylic paint markers my dad got me a while ago. I had not really used them yet, but I just wanted it to be a watercolor kind of look. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So we'll go ahead and get that done real quick, and then uh, we'll get back to it. Yeah, okay, so as you can see, I've got it done. Uh, it's just a really light coat to give the, you know, watercolor markers a, you know, better surface to stick to. So, um, yeah, we're going to give this about an hour or two to dry, and then we'll be back and we'll start the painting. All right, guys, as you can see, uh, judging by the light outside, the light switch cover here is all dry. It's still a little glossy, but you see it's got that texture to it now, which will help this, these, uh paint stick. These are the colors we're going to be using today. Uh, different blues, gray and black for the night. This is going to be the grass and then the sun. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. So I went ahead and I drew this line. It's about halfway across it. Uh, just to kind of reference for this specific, you know, thing, because we're doing a, a day and night scene. Um, and, you know, I just figured, you know, I'll do this as kind of like a how-to if you're you know, find this video and you decide, hey, that's really cool. I want to do this. So I'll just show you how. Um, so, yeah, the first thing we're going to do here is just focus. We're going to start at the top, obviously, and you want to we'll start to the left and work your way down. But first, we, we got to get a base coat on there. And so we're just going to go ahead and color this all blue here. Alright guys, as you can see, we've got the top half and painted there. And you can see I did a really heavy coat. And I started down here, and I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to take a little bit of a darker blue here. And it, get it nice and wet. And you're just going to... It, touch it throughout. Make sure you get it nice and wet. You don't want to go all the way up. I'll show you why later. Now, I'm no professional, so I can't guarantee you this is the right way to do things, but this is just how I do things. Now, I've taught myself. I never went to school or anything, but when you're done, you should have sort of like that effect right there, and I know that's kind of thick and bubbly, but you'll see. It'll all work out in the end. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and let this dry again for another hour or so, and then we'll be back with uh, the next step. So of course, another hour or so has passed and it's mostly dry. We got a couple of little wet spots there you can see, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to be focusing up here now. We're going to be using the white. Let's build in some clouds. 
clouds. We are going to do a little bit of cloud action down here. All right, guys, so we've got the blue sky and the clouds down. And, you know, it's got that darkness down there. You'll see what the purpose is for that in a little bit. But now we're going to focus on putting the sun in right up there. And to do that, we've got two different color yellows here. We've got this milky color that we're going to put down first. And we're going to put this brighter yellow on top of it once it dries. And the purpose for that is, as you know, you look at the sun in the sky, it's not a a solid circle in the sky it's it looks like you know it's radiating so uh, let's go ahead and get that done and then we'll show you the next step All right guys, so it's the next day and everything's all dry. As you can see the difference in the yellow there from far away, it kind of makes it look like the sun's, you know, radiating. And now we're gonna do the grass. Okay guys, so for, for the grass, I'm gonna use three colors. You can use two. You just need a darker one and a lighter one. And you're gonna, I'm gonna use, this is actually looks darker when it's down than this. So I'm gonna use this color first. And what you're gonna do, just start at your line. And there's some pull. A bunch of just little lines off there. They don't have, you know, you want them to be kind of spaced together. It doesn't matter if you go below your line there. So when you're done with that first color, you should have something that looks a little bit like that. See how it's starting to come together there? And if you want, you could use the top of the, if you're following along, you use the top of the light switch hole as your guideline, you know, don't go any further than that. We're gonna go ahead and let that dry and then we'll go back for the next color. All right, guys, now that this is all dry, we're gonna go in with the next color, the next darkest color. Still have the light color to go. We're gonna come in with this one and you're gonna do some lines on top of these, but you're gonna do them a little bit more spread apart and just a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick and then uh, we'll get back to it. All right guys, and I forgot to press record, so this is my fault, but I went back now, after you did the three colors on top of each other, you're gonna come back in with your base color, and you're gonna do some random stripes, as you can see on this side, on top of the green. And now I'm coming back in with this, and it's just little here and there's, like all different directions. When you're done, your, your upper daytime scene should be complete. Let's see, it kind of gives you some dirty grass and a darker mix of the blue makes it kind of look like, you know, the sky is rounded. So let's let this dry and then we'll come back and we'll start on the nighttime. All right, guys, so everything's dry and we're back. We're gonna work on the night scene now. And we're actually gonna do grass at the bottom and then the moon right here. So it's like a, I don't know, mirrored reflection on most of it. Not mirrored, but you know what I'm saying? So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and color this all black and I'll show you next step after that.
Okay guys, we're back. Um, I went ahead and painted the top and of course camera died. Um, so I didn't realize that I missed this step, but to do this, it looks kind of washy. After you do the black, you're gonna come back in with a gray and ever so lightly, you're just gonna streak it back and forth. And while that's wet, that's when you come in with the black and you're just gonna go back and forth, mixing it up really well. And you'll be left with this kind of effect here. See, it just kind of looks like a washy. So now we'll go ahead and we'll do the moon. And uh, then I'll show you guys the next up. All right, guys, so as you've seen, we just we got the moon painted on here. And I'm sure some of you are wondering right now, why isn't he just using regular paint and some brushes? And I guess I just figured, hey, I, I'm not a painter, never, I don't claim to be. I prefer to use pencils and stuff, but I'm in the art room, thought I'd be creative and show you guys how to do it too while I'm doing it, so here we are. But yeah, so we've got the, the moon on there, and so now we have to do the stars. And for the stars, we're gonna use two different colors. We're gonna use yellow first as the first dots. And then once those dry, we're gonna come back over them with the white. So let's go ahead and knock that out real quick and then we can move on to the next step. All right, guys, so it's all dry. If you've been following along or if not, you're just watching. This is what it looks like. And don't don't worry about the roughness of it because like I was saying earlier, um, I would recommend clear coating it. Um, you know, just to protect it, make it last a little longer, especially if you've got kids or anything. But um, yeah, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the grass here. And for that, we're just gonna use two colors because it is nighttime, so we don't need the light green in there. So um, yeah, we're just gonna do the same steps that we did down here. This first, this on top, and then a little bit more of this on top of that. And then um, it should, it'll be done and ready for clear coat. All right, guys, as you can see, this is if you were following along or if you were just watching, this is the finished product. It's simple. It's not anything crazy, but it would make a fun project to do with your kid in their room or if you're just bored and artsy and haven't painted or done anything before. It's just a fun little project you could do for your room to decorate the light switch. Um, yeah, and only the last step, if you wanted to protect it for longer, would be to clear coat it. This is what I'm going to use. It's just some leftover clear coat I had from when I made carbon fiber cars back in the day, but yeah, um, we'll go ahead and clear coat it, get it hung back up, and then uh, finish the video. So yeah, guys, um, well, it's the next day and it's all done here. As you can see, it's all clear coated, shiny, looks good. So yeah, that's that's all I have for today's video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. It is my first little how-to DIY project video, you know, um, and it is only my fourth video ever. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making more videos. Hopefully, getting better and better at it. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in the future. And please just stay tuned and watch this quick one-minute video of uh, my uh, joiner Lucas right here. And uh, yeah, much love, guys.